Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel and uh, I apologize for the background music which is a little bit annoying. Could be amusing for someone maybe, but um, I'm using my PlayStation to record this so maybe if I can use something else that would be different. Um, this channel is intended to help English speakers with Arabic and to help Arabic speakers with English. But instead of giving a lesson, first I would like to start with giving some advice on how to start learning a language. How do you begin? What is the beginning? Um, I'm going to use my own experience with um, German. Um, and it was really it was really a good journey. It was really nice. Um, I've been learning German for about for almost two years now. And I would like to say that I am pretty good at it. So, anyway, how do you start learning a language? The first thing you do is you listen as much as you can. You can watch videos, listen to music, just keep listening, listening until you can, you know, get the sense of the of how the language sounds, you know, every language has its own sound, like if you listen enough, you can know, oh, you can, this is Italian, this is German, this is, you know, so you just have to get the feeling of the language first. Um, after that, you can start learning um, the greetings and simple phrases. Um, I don't recommend start starting with the the alphabet because if you start with the alphabet, it's you know it's the typical way of learning. It's all written. You don't really focus on listening and speaking. But the other unconventional way is actually the conventional way the world works, which is learning like a baby. You know, they listen, 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 and then they start speaking. So this is how I started. I kept listening, listening to music and everything. And then I, I looked for a video that was showing me how to greet people, like uh, how to say good morning, how to say good afternoon, how to say how are you, I'm fine, thank you, what is your name? You know, these are the kinds of things that you can learn in one day and could help you, you know, have small talk between between you and a native speaker, if you learn how to say how are you and how how old are you, what do you do, um, what is your name, these simple phrases could help you have a simple conversation in one or two days. So this is what you have to learn first. You have to learn good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, um, what is your name, how are you, what do you do. And of course, you have to learn the responses for that, so yeah. Um, you could learn the numbers if you'd like. Numbers are very, very helpful, especially if you're traveling to the country. For example, if you're going to Turkey, let's say, it's it would be a very good idea to learn the numbers because if you go to buy something, the the sellers would usually tell you um, a number in Turkish, so this would be very helpful. Um, my second piece of advice is how to remember vocabulary. Vocabulary is one of the most, you know, difficult things to do. You always have problems with that because you have to remember, let's say, between two to three thousand words to be able to have a decent conversation. So, my trick with remembering words um, is making it funny. You have to <laughs> make the word sound funny to you. Like, for example, I remember in German when I was learning, you know, about clothes and what a, a shirt and, you know, shoes and a hat. And what was really funny and what grabbed my attention was the word for gloves when you, you wear gloves. The word for gloves in German is hand shoe. <laughs> it's hand shoe. So this was really funny for me. Like I had to imagine and picture it if somebody is wearing a shoe in their hand. Um, so I would never forget this. It's really, <laughs> it's really funny. Um, 
So if you can relate the word to something you already know, make the word funny.、Um, you know, just like just try to like attach it to some kind of experience, something funny, relate it to some kind of food that you like.、Um, this would be very good. And the second thing is you have to use that word. You could you could be wondering so. What if I don't really use the word that much? Then for you probably it won't be that important.、Um, how do you know the words that you use and the words that you don't use? This is how: when you are speaking in your target language, the language that you're trying to learn. Let's say you're speaking to a friend, a German friend, and you want to say,、um, "I don't remember this certain situation." So and you don't you don't know the verb for remember, and you're thinking,、mm, remember what is remember in German? <clears throat> I don't know. So you should have a small notebook that you use while speaking. So you're speaking and you don't remember the word remember, and then you just open your notebook and you write remember in your own language, in your native language. Let's say you're an Arabic speaker, you write you write remember in Arabic. And then, when you're done with your conversa- conversation, you're gonna find a list of words that you wrote down, and you know you can look those up, or you can ask anybody, or yeah, those are going. This is gonna be very useful. This is going to be your active list, the list that you use, and your proof is that you were speaking. Yeah. So、um, after this video, I'm gonna start doing.、Um, Small lessons on what I've just told you how to start, which is you know, greetings, and、um, I will teach both Arabic speakers and English speakers at the same time. I will have I will have the Arabic and the English and the transliteration to show everybody. From both sides, how to greet each other and how to have a simple, small conversation together.、Um, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you liked my video. Thank you.